defense is requesting that the court sit these matters down for a change of plan Wednesday of next week when uh, lead counsel for the Parkland case can be here. She's currently out of state and she filed a notice of unavailability this week. Uh, but it's our intent to enter a change of plea as to both cases to all charges. Okay, I have no problem setting the lead homicide case on Wednesday for a change of plea as long as the, the state is available on Wednesday. However, I have 109 members of the community that are coming back on Monday morning at 8.30. And oh, oh, actually 55 and then 55 at 1. I don't want to bring those individuals back and inconvenience them if in fact uh, we don't need to do that. So if Mr. Cruz wants to plea on the attempted aggravated battery case, that needs to be done today. Because as we all know, uh, people change their minds. I'm not going to excuse those jurors until the case is pled, and I don't want to have them come back if that's the intention. So it, that case needs to be pled today, whether it be this morning or this afternoon. The other matter, I don't have a problem waiting for lead counsel. Judge, it's up to the court what the court wants to do. Obviously, the court has to accept the, the, the defendant's guilty plea. Um, I, I think that uh, if the court feels that it doesn't want to inconvenience the, the members of the community, I understand it completely. I would ask that it be, you know, rolled to Monday if the court wants to do that. I would ask that my client be dressed out for court for the change of plea as to any case, either the Parkland case or the Bolton case. Well, it's only 20 to 11 now. So what if the sheriff's office, if I were to uh, ask them and they would agree to put him, to dress him for in his trial clothes and we can come back at 1 and do it? Because I can't, I, even if it's only 55 people, that's 55 people that have to drive all the way, p find parking, pay for parking. I, I, I really don't want to do that um, unless it's necessary. And again, you know, folks often change their mind. Not that your client will or won't, I don't know, but that happens uh, where, where somebody changes their mind and that's why I don't want to excuse them until I've taken the plea. I find, you know, I accept the plea and it's all set. We have the paperwork and I make the requisite findings. Judge, I have the paperwork in hand if that, if that humiliates the court's mind at all. But, but he can, until I go through a colloquy with him, he could change his mind. And again, because we are have already started the trial on that case, I want to do that today. Okay. I'm sure that I can arrange to have him dressed. And Judge, just so that we're clear, we're, we're asking that the court to impose a sentence on Wednesday on the counts 18 through 34 in the Parkland case to 17 consecutive life sentences. Well, we don't have to... We, I think that's uh, premature as far as discussing that. I first need to take his plea, and it needs to be on the case that we've started the trial on. And then I'll schedule the plea on the other case. Um, but for today, may I see? We have Captain Carter in the back there. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to call you out, sir. May I, see, may I see you for a moment, sir? Thank you. I don't want to embarrass him. If you're just tuning in, you're listening live right now. This is a status hearing underway in a Broward County courtroom. This status hearing is uh, for a suspected school shooter, Nicholas Cruz, uh, of course, accused of the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in 2018. Uh, the very latest right now, the defense asking to uh, okay, move. Okay, thank you, Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office has indicated that they can have again. him up here dressed in 15 minutes. And then I can give you all time to go over the, the um, stuff with him if you need to, and I can put the white noise on, take a recess, let you do that, and then I'll accept his plea. 
Judge, the state would raise the issue of, of competency only as far as I've been uh, advised that the defendant has been evaluated for competency and has been found to be competent as recently as this morning. And we want to make sure that part of the plea colloquy addresses that. Well, I always ask people uh, whether or not they are, they've been diagnosed with a physical or mental illness, what it is, whether they're taking medication. That's part of my standard colloquy. Just, Just I have no issues as to my, my client's competency at this time. Okay. And it hasn't been raised in this case, but since I know that he was evaluated this morning, I just sure. feel like I, I always go over that. Record. That is part of my standard plea. All the lawyers in here know, I'm, I think, Mr. Wheeler, you would be familiar with my plea. Um, and I go over that in depth to make sure that the person can make a knowing, voluntary, and, and uh, intelligent waiver of all of their rights. So, thank you. Okay, so we'll be in recess for 15 minutes. Uh, the sheriff's office is going to bring him up, and then Mr. Wheeler and Mr. Ehrman, however long you need to speak to him, uh, you can let me know, and then I'll accept the plea. Okay? Thank you. All right, you've just been listening live right now to a status hearing for suspected school shooter Nicholas Cruz. Sounding there like uh, Judge Schur is wanting to first get a, a plea with the attempted aggravated battery case. Of course, that is uh, the fight that was seen on surveillance video back in 2018 that showed Cruz fighting with the Broward County deputy at the time. That happened nine months after the shooting in Parkland. The judge saying she would like the suspect's plea on that case, it sounds like before moving forward with the other case, which of course was the mass shooting at the school. Sounds like we have a 15 minute recess and then Nicholas Cruz will be brought into the courtroom to start this this hearing. We're going to take a short break. Stay with us. We'll have much more on, uh, of course, WPBF.com all throughout the morning. And once this gets underway again, we'll break back in with more coverage.